shoveling out hives again today just getting the snow off the top and away from the front of the hive they're buried as you can see there's a single there a couple singles there and the ones that are sticking out good are doubles this first single here I dug it out thought oh, I need some boxes with some comb with honey in them for some bees that I'm getting and in the next uh, month and a half two months I just want to find some comb and so check the first one damn things were alive so threw a pollen patty on because it's a single so feed is always questionable with singles I well I feel as though it is but maybe it's not and then the second one I open up there's bees in it there's lots of honey but they're still working on getting rid of the sugar that I put on them so not sure what the point of that is I don't know how many bees are in it. I'm only looking at the top. There could be a big bunch underneath. Um, but they're not... Uh, they're not taking the honey, but they're moving the raw sugar, which doesn't really mean anything. There was... Uh, there was a good amount of uh, newspaper with sugar on it in there. Usually put about a kilogram of sugar in each hive, um, but just because it's gone doesn't mean they're eating it. Like I say, there's capped honey in a lot of these frames still. So I found last year the one I bred from last year, which would be these girls' mom, because I know this is a new hive last year. Um, so when I went into the hive last year that I bred from last year, uh, the bees had taken out every stitch of sugar and all of the newspaper. You wouldn't even know there was ever anything on it. So, um, but that's a part of the orbs, uh, situation that I'm in like I, I'm an orbs breeder so um, Ontario resistant honeybees uh, they're resistant to disease resistant so what they do is they basically clean up keep the hive really super clean um, and that's what I find they're doing with the sugar I'm putting on it doesn't benefit them at all I don't believe um, because I see so much capped honey but um so what i believe they do is just clean it all out of the friggin hive because it doesn't belong in there so they're going this doesn't belong here we're getting rid of this so i believe that's what's happening there they're not i don't believe they're eating it maybe a little bit they have to carry it so you know i they're not starving there's tons of honey in that hive that whole top box is pretty much full of capped honey. So it's sort of a, I have no idea. I'd love to say that I'm a genius and I know exactly how bees work, but I don't know, okay? Um, they are probably taking that out. Now they're not getting it out of the hive likely. They're probably just getting it off the tops of the frames. It's gonna end up on the bottom board. Because they're not coming out to clean out right now. But it's a really good sign when you come to the first two in the yard. Out of a yard of... Uh, I think this yard has 29 in it. Um, but when you come to the very first one, and, and this one is sort of uh, for part of the day, it's hidden behind this. This is a feeder right here. It usually sits the other way up. And Anyway. Um, in the summer it's the other way up I turn it upside down in the winter so it doesn't fill up with snow and ice and shit so I can use it again in the spring but uh, it, this one is in the shade of that so it's not getting the sun that the rest of them are like even, even you see this little wee bit here you see that little wee bit of black hanging out of the snow you notice the dip in front of the hives in the snow um, it's melted so 
that black, I think the black is a really good thing in the winter. <laughs> but I have no idea. I just, that's my thought. <laughs> anyway, um, so I opened up these two. Don't know if I'll open up any more. Um, it was just more my curiosity just killing me. I usually wait a couple more weeks before I uh, bother to open them up, check them out, put a pollen patty in or start feeding or anything. At least two weeks. You know, most people wait until the end of March. I'm just in here seeing what's going on. Um, in the middle of March, I'll come around and probably go through and anything that has is just fell backwards and it has like a couple frames of bees in it, I'll pick that up and stick it in a nuke box uh, with a couple frames of honey and I'll take it home. And I keep it somewhere warm because it's only for a couple weeks. Um, and then I might be able to go around and add bees to things here and there just to keep the queens alive basically. Um, so I might knock some of my big doubles down, uh, into a single and use the excess bees from that, if there are any, um, to boost or I have other ways of doing it. Anyway, um, that's what I'm up to today. It's supposed to be like nine degrees and raining on Sunday. So I want the snow off the tops of these hives because it's bad enough the water's going to be running off. Forget about the water running off, plus melting on the snow that's on top and it melting all down through. Okay, um, they don't need all that moisture. Okay? So we're, I'm just getting rid of a bunch of moisture is all I'm doing. And then probably after Sunday, you're gonna find these things are sticking way out of the snow. They'll be able to catch lots of sun on the sunny days. Anyways, that's what I'm up to today. Hope you guys are having a good day. Talk later.